So recently I was looking for an affordable alternative to the classic 1176 FET compressor to add that kind of sound to the recordings in my studio. And if you're familiar with the compressor, they can cost anywhere from around four and a half grand or so, depending on what vintage you're getting. And they are by no means a cheap compressor. So recently I came across a company called Lindell Audio. They've kind of been on my radar for a while as a company. I've seen a bunch of their 500 series products, but they've recently started releasing full 19 inch rack units. And a little while ago, they released this, the Lin 76. I was able to pick up one of these for $500. That's right, only $500 for an 1176 style compressor. Now, $500 for anything audio in Australia is quite cheap. You know, in America, you might be getting that for, you know, a little bit cheaper but anyway it's an awesome product i've actually been using it on a bunch of recordings recently uh some hip-hop stuff that's come through the studio if any of you caught some of the stuff i've been working with a hardcore band called fist i used it on vocals and snare drum in those tracks it's actually been surprisingly versatile and usable and very very much in line with the real 1176 sound now does it sound exactly like the classic 1176 i don't know however i've got some videos coming up where we're going to test that but for now here's an unboxing and a run through the compressor so i didn't know what to expect when i first got the lindell lin 76 from sounds easy it was kind of like a impulse buyer really but it came packaged really well and in the box you basically just get like a simple manual user guide with how to calibrate the unit and the rack unit and then a power supply really simple packaging the unit itself looks like the original 1176 it actually looks really nice it is a little light to hold it has all of the exact ratios you would expect on 1176 and the all buttons in mode and it's really easy to use. The attack and release times are set in reverse, but they're there as well. And the input and output gain dials. On the rear, you have a TRS in and out and a calibration switch. And then it also comes with a typical line lump, cheaper kind of power supply, which keeps the cost down of these units. For my unit, I created some patch leads for these and as you can see it fits nicely in a standard 19 inch rack space with the rest of my gear with some patch leads it's really easy to set this unit up and once it's powered up it looks the part Calibrating this was a bit tricky, but once I got it going, it was a pretty awesome unit to use. And I'm using it right now on my voice as I'm recording this. So the Lin 76, such a crazy little affordable version of the original 1176. If you're looking to hear more sound examples of this unit besides just my voice and the things used in this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got some amazing content soon showcasing what this unit can really do. If you want any other information, hit me up on Instagram or in the comment sections down below. I'm Mitch from the DIYRecordingStudio.com. I'll catch you soon.